Hey, hey, peeps, if you've been following me here on YouTube, you might already know this, but I've been making a massive investment into a content website over the last nine months or so. At this point, I'm probably into it for about $100,000. And if you're not following me, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Like seriously, right now. All right, now it's been two months since my last update on this project and I am planning to make an update on this project in the next few days, but today I wanted to share something a little bit different with you guys on this, particularly, you know, more on the technical and kind of nitty gritty side of the content and what I've been doing and the theory behind it. So if you watch any of these videos, any of my videos updating you on the progress of the project, uh, you'll notice that I really discern between two types of blog posts and I call them pillar posts or long form posts and then standard blog posts, right? In my pillar posts, basically what they are, they are a long form blog post, 4,000 plus words with custom illustrations, custom graphics, uh, all said and all done on it, all said, all done and all in on it. By the time we pay our writers, illustrators, uh, my person formatting them, I'm probably into them for about 1,500 bucks each. And then there's standard blog posts, which are just 1,000 to 2,000 words. They might get a couple stock images uh, and they look like a blog post. And let me give you some examples of them right here. Brian Dean from Backlinko, he runs this and uh, he runs this blog and other content platforms out there. If you've been in the SEO world for, I guess, any more than a few days, you've probably ran across some of his content. He calls them skyscraper posts and I'm not using his terminology or I didn't. Uh, because I wanted to be, I don't say I want to be a little bit different, but when he talks about skyscraper posts, he uses them for link outreach. Uh, I call them pillar posts, but fundamentally they're basically the same thing. And here's an example. This is one of his, and basically all the blog content he does now is like this. Notice it doesn't look like a blog post, right? He's got custom graphics. Maybe that comes from some type of stock icon imagery. I don't know, uh, but it looks very nice. This page is very, very well done. He's got a lot of statistics. Statistics are very nice to have in your content and he's got them illustrated. This thing is some type of probably an illustration, custom illustration of a spreadsheet, more custom graphics, more custom statistical graphics, right? Custom graphic. Uh, we can look at this and we can say, this is not your traditional blog post, right? This is clearly a very visual blog post right here, All right? And he calls it a skyscraper piece mainly because he uses it for outreach. Uh, I just call it a pillar post, but these are the types of blog posts that I'm, you know, creating and I'm sinking about $1,500 worth of my money into them in the form of writing and then uh, graphics and illustration and formatting. And then there are standard blog posts. So let's just kind of look at, you know, some of those. I went ahead and searched for video marketing guide, which was like his keyword here. And I just found some here. We can see, you know, this would be more of a standard blog post, right? There's a lot of content here. This is certainly a long form content piece, but I, I wouldn't really say that this is nearly on the level of, you know, Brian Dean's backlinko posts. And probably a little bit better than a traditional blog post. Uh, here, we'll go a little bit more to the side of traditional blog posts, or we'll go all the way to that side. And I just found this, this one right here. And this is your traditional blog post, right? You got your column, you got your text. And in this case, they've got a lot of ads stuck into it. So we go back to, you know, what I'm up to. I'm doing the pillar long form pieces like this, 1500 bucks. Uh, and then I'm doing a lot of content like this as well. I would say that my content looks better and is probably better written than this. And on those, by the time I pay my writer, formatter, get stock imagery, we are custom editing the stock imagery a little bit and kind of putting some captions on them to make them meme like. I think my all in cost on those is about $80 with my writer. So 1200 word, po yeah, 1250 word post is what I'm doing with all the formatting, writing, editing, getting it published. I'm into it for about $80. So $80 versus $1,500. Now, um, you know, when I first started out, I was doing a lot of blog posts like this. I was doing more than I am now, and I'm going to partially explain this, right? So uh, I've got, I don't know how many of these, I, I'm going to say at least 20 like these, and then hundreds of traditional blog posts. So in here, I talk about a shift in my strategy and basically my shift is, is that I've been leaning more towards, you know, these types of blog posts, the shorter ones, the shorter standard blog posts have been getting the rankings and getting traffic. And that's what I convey in my month seven update video here. But what I've noticed, particularly in the last two months, is I've been picking up a lot of natural organic links and I picked up some very good links. I picked up an organic from Forbes. Uh, I picked up an organic from MSN, a lot of other blogs in the space and content publishers. 
have been linking to me. So I've literally been without any attempt, I mean, this is just purely natural organic linking, I've been picking up links. And where are they linking to? Well, they are not linking to my standard blog post content like this. Instead, what they're doing is they're linking to my, what I'm calling pillar content, right? So, you know, while back here in this update, I'm basically saying, you know, I'm spending 1500 bucks a post, but these posts are not getting much traction and traffic. And that is true. My standard blog posts are still getting way more traffic. My pillar posts are picking up the backlinks because they look really good. This is the kind of thing that people want to look at, right? And people want to link to. They don't want to link to the standard blog post. So, I, uh, you know, I guess I'm shifting my strategy again. I guess in month seven here, I said I was shifting my strategy towards more standard blog posts, and that has been the case. But what I'm going to kind of shift to is doing more standard shorter blog posts. So 1,200 to 200, or 1,200 to 200, 1,200 to 2,000 word blog posts but I'm gonna be getting more custom graphics and custom illustrations put into them so that they're looking like this. Uh, so that way, rather than spending $1,500 on a you know a long form pillar post, well, we're gonna get our writing done for, I think writing is usually about 40 bucks on a 1,250 word post for myself. We're gonna get those, uh, maybe put a couple of hundred into graphics, and then they'll be shorter, more digestible, but they're still going to look visually good. Now, of course, this is going to be strategic, right? We're, we're, gonna, we're not going to do this for every post, but we're going to do these for the posts that I think have high opportunity to link for or have high opportunity for graphics because there's some topics that you get and it's just like, you know, you get the topic or you come up with a topic and you're like, I just can't think of any graphics to put in this thing, right? Like, I can't think of a way to make this thing more visually appealing, okay? So for that, we're still going to do standard blog posts but the, where we see the opportunity where, you know, we, I, I'm the one that's calling the shots on the content that gets published, um, where I see the opportunity, I am going to be going ahead and getting some custom graphics done here. You know, so the point I really wanted to make with this video is that while pillar posts and long form posts like this are expensive to create, they do pick up backlinks over time. And mind you, you know, I said in the very beginning, I'm nine months into it. This video was my seven month update. It was March 3rd. Today is May 5th. So literally I'm nine months into this project. And it really took until seven months or after that, it's just the last few weeks that I've started noticing we're getting these high quality links. So a lot of people come out there and they're like, oh, you know, I'm going to publish a long form blog post and see what happens. Okay, here's one. Spend a bunch of money uh, or absent money your time on it. And, you know, we put it out there two months later, we've got no links. Well, fuck this, I'm done. But in my case, you're seeing here, uh, I've had to put out dozens of them, or maybe not dozens, but I say at least 20. I don't know what the exact count is. And we might see that in this video here. Ah, here they are. 7, 2 is 9, 13, 50. So I haven't even put out 20, I put out 15 of them. I don't think I've done any more long form since this one. So we've got 15 long form posts on the website and seven months into it is when I actually start seeing the return. So, you know, if you're out there tossing and turning over, all right, should I do long form content? Should I do short form content? Truthfully, the way I'm going and the way I just explained it here is I'm going more towards shorter content, shorter word count length. I don't see any value in doing 10,000 word posts. I don't see any, I really don't see any value in doing much over 2,000 word posts. Unless you really have substance that you can cover, um, some real meat and potatoes, I really wouldn't go any longer than 2,000 words at this point. But I think there's a lot of value in creating the custom graphics and making them pillar or skyscraper pieces. So that is what's working for me and that's what I see working well and that's what I'm gonna keep doing going forward. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm signing off on this one.